Hello everyone, you are welcome to this class. So in this class, I want to show you how you can pass your mass wife examination. Uh, even if you are at zero level, if you have problem with mass or you are struggling with mass. So I will tell you that with this strategy that I'm going to show you in this video, you can get your C4 at least in mathematics. If you follow the tricks I'm going to be sharing with you in this video, so that's the reason why you have to watch this video till the end. Don't skip it. Make sure you watch it and see the beauty of mathematics and how you can pass life math uh, without involving any examination from practice. So let's get started. Let's look at it. Now, why mathematics is divided into two? So the paper we have paper one, which is MCQ, that is objective part, and it has uh, 50 questions there. You are going to use one half 30 minutes to solve this. Why the paper 2 is theory part? So it has about 13 questions, so you have to answer 10. Now, this is where I want to focus this, uh, uh, this class on. Now, under the paper 2, we now have two sections. So section A and section B. Now, section A, you know, you said you're going to answer 10 questions. In section A, you are going to answer 5 questions, and they are compulsory questions. That is section A. Question 1 to 5, compulsory. Then section B, we have from question 6 to question 13, and you have to answer 5. That is 8 questions, answer 5. Now, this is where I'm going. This section, the first question you're going to answer here, carry what? 40 marks. So that means each question is what? Each question is what? 8 marks. That is 8 marks. Why this one will carry 16 marks? We're going to carry 16 marks, which means each question is what? 12 marks. You can see the difference. Now, most students usually make this a mistake when they are giving their theory question. They will focus attention on this section because it's compulsory. They thought in their mind that they must finish all the five questions. They can wait, you know, you're going to spend two and a half hours on this uh, theory question, theory part. They can spend almost one hour, 30 minutes on this section A, leaving section B alone. You know, because they are struggling. No, I want to, I must finish this, I must finish this. No, don't stress. You are not expected to solve everything. You are not expected to solve the 10 questions. In fact, you can solve five questions, you can solve six, seven questions, six questions, and you still have your credit. Right? So just listen at what I'm going to do here. Now, don't focus your attention on this. I always advise students, that when you are giving your question, don't start with the section A. Though it is compulsory, but it's not, doesn't mean that you must do it by force. No. Go to section B. Try as much as possible to complete the five questions in section B. So if you complete the five questions in section B, I'll talk about some things here. You have chance of scoring very high in your theory parts. Even if you answer two questions, you're able to answer five questions correctly here. And you're able to answer two questions here. Your C is guaranteed. And if you're able to solve ten questions correctly, with this side I'm going to show you here, forget about it, starting that you're going to get A1 in your exam. Now, how? If you look at this, I said eight marks per one question. Another thing about section B is that there are some topics that why whether they like it or not, they will bring them out. What are the topics? I've listed them out. These are the topics. But there are some three major topics. There is, don't I check your white past questions? There is no way you not come across these three questions, topics. Graph is constant. They will always search questions on graph. So if you master all the graph topics, questions of uh, topics on graphs perfectly. I can tell you authoritatively that you can score 12 marks in your graph. It's very easy to score everything in graph. That's one big thing about graph. So at worst scenario, you score 10 marks. I mean, you make some stupid mistakes, you score 10 marks. That's 10 marks. This is 10 marks. Then statistics. You cannot run away from statistics. They can give you or give histogram and so on. So all of them are there. So, Sometimes they will bring out two questions on statistics. So, we get, so that is one. Then construction. Construction, you always see construction. And construction is one of the simplest 
simplest uh, topic in mathematics if you know what you are doing. Have you known that these topics listed out here, not limited to them, are inevitable topics that will uh, come out in your YA? Now, so what is now the strategy? Now, the first strategy I'm going to tell you is that whenever you are giving your examination question, make sure you start with these aspects. That's the first one. Then the second strategy is that you must make sure that you master all these topics. Master them, know them very well. In fact, you can spend like three months, two months on them, mastering them, solving questions, reading textbooks, going through anything to master all these topics. Now, that is the second one. Second aspect is that we are not saying that this is the only aspect you should focus your attention on. We found sometimes you will see some topics here that will feature under this one. And let me tell you, if you master all these topics, your objective is perfect for you because most of all these topics will come out in your textbook. So if you are able to solve, let's look at this uh, calculation. You're able to solve five questions here. You know, I said the first step that you focus the attention on this. That's the first one. So and you're able to solve five questions. And uh, out of these five questions, you Maybe you choose some mistakes forever, forever. You're able to score 10, 10 marks in each of them. Each of them carry 12 marks, right? Now, you have, you're able to solve 10, you're able to solve 5, and you got 10 marks. So that will give you about 50 marks on this one. Then you come back to this one, you're able to solve, let's say, like 3 because of time. You know, you have 2 and a half hours. You can spend about 1 and a half hours on this aspect or more. So you're able to solve. Let's say like uh, three questions here. Three questions here, you got five, five. At worst case scenario, worst case scenario, five, five. That is going to give you 15 marks. So 15 plus this, that is of 65. Your objective question, no matter how, if you matter all these ones very well, forget about it, you will get at least 30 marks here out of 50. 30 marks. So 30 plus this, this will give you five. This will give you what? Uh, that is 95. 95 out of 150. So when you want 95 out of 150, because this is 100 plus 50. So what would be the grade? 95 divided by 150. So that gives you 63%. You can see this first order was C4. You can see that order too. You can see that this is worst case scenario. Having understood all these uh, explanations, so what do we have for you at SmartMath? We have videos on all these topics, recorded videos on all these topics. And we are going to be releasing them one by one. After releasing them, you watch the video explanation of each topic. At the end of each topic, you'll be given a, a task to carry it out on each of them to test your understanding of the concepts. So after that, after giving you the task, we we'll also do uh, make video corrections on the task given to you, so that you're able to see your mistakes and how you are going to correct those mistakes subsequently, most especially in your exam. All that is clear. So we are going to be doing that till you write your exam. So and the rest as well as you're going to find it very useful and helpful. So you can see some of the parents that attended our previous programs. We're going to show you what they have to say about it and why you should enroll in this course. So what you just need to do now is for you to what, click on the link around this video to learn more about the program, how it will go, the duration, the, the fee, and others. So, we're going to meet in our next video. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell so anytime I release video like this, you will have access to it and benefit from it. So give us a very big thumbs up if you find this video useful and helpful. If you have any question, whatever about your exam, so you can uh, put it in the comments. I will be able to respond to you. So this is going to stop. Bye for now.